addition is mean not actually not okay that is arithmetic operators goes the second so this first this is second plus minus multiplication division percentage and third one is relational operators less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to this is the third precedence third order fourth one is equality if a equal to b so we put two equal sign this is not equal to a not equal to b logical and operation is a and d that is the one two three four fifth order then sixth one is logical or then at the last is assignment operations like equal to plus equal to minus equal to multiplication equal to division equals and then percentage equals when we give a lot of examples i'll try to explain each of these you know for example this is one example someone is an identifier as variable equal to 75 minus 3a which is in the brackets division 100 star 3b 100 times plus 200 times 2 so which one according to these rules this will evaluate first arithmetic operations see it comes here and uh, there is a multiplication here so this will go second and then the division takes precedence so third and fourth is the minus you know arithmetic finally sum will have the value and this is all about the operator precedence next lesson we will go into the c library functions let's move here uh, we write c program for some projects but C language already has some library functions, like thousands of library functions, which we can use in our program. If our program has so many functions, it will contain a lot of C functions. So C compiler will substitute the actual code wherever we put the library name, you know. You don't have to write the code. The C library, C compiler will substitute the actual code there. And these are the, some of the common library functions. For example, ABS of A means absolute value of A. Absolute is the positive value. So absolute of minus 5 is plus 5. That's an example. So we calculate ABS of A, it returns an integer. Every function will return a return value, integer, you know. And every C program will return 0 means it's no errors. Other than 0 is error. So the second one is seal, sealing of D. Uh, that returns a double value. Seal is used to round up to the next integer. For example, uh, seal of 5.7 is 5 because after the digit is 0.7. Anything greater than 0.5, it will add to the next number. Exponent, exp of d, exponential, exponents, returns a double, raise e to the power of d. For example, exp of d, exp of 5 means that e to the power 5. Cos of d is the trigonometry, geometry, returns double, cosine value of d. Sine value of d is sine of d, tan is sine by cos. So tangent of d. Log of d is the arithmetic, you know, logarithmic. It returns a double value. Natural log of the a, variable a. Scan of, we already saw it's a print statement, input statement. When user inputs the values, it returns an integer. So these are all common library functions. Printf, we use all this in the C programs. And POW of D1, D2 is D1 to the power D2, kind of like the exponent. It returns a double. And there are some more functions called getCare. GetCare means it gets single character from the user keyboard. You can type in alphabets, you know, A, B, C, like that. Put care puts the value on the screen you know so this is input function this is output function we use all this in c programs i'll explain later in the next lesson we go into the more detail about the two important functions that is used a lot in any c program you have to input value you have to output the value that is the purpose you know you have to input the value do some calculations output value that's any c program or any other program in c we use Scanf and printf. Scanf is get the input. Printf display the output after all the calculations. So a typical C program will have all these. 
hash include stdio.h is called the header file dot h means header file it will include like uh, hundreds of code hundreds of statements uh, definitions for all the variables used in this program so any program will start with in c language stdio means standard input output that is stdio.h and there are many header files hundreds you know so you can imagine the power of c language most of the games uh, people play on the computers most of them are written in c language c java c++ c pound you know or a combination of these and it has a main function when there is a program there is a point where the program should start executing so c will come here and look at our oh, main okay this is the main function it will have curly braces you know and uh, in this program we are we have three variables b1 b2 b3 are all integers defined there is a character c1 of 30 that means c1 is an array of 30 elements its character value scan of uh, is the input statement so we get one two three we get three input values d means decimal so they are defined b1 is d b2 b3 the integers now another statement get s means uh, it's a string operator it will get string put string input the string value output the string value these are like the get care put care here it's single character a string is a combination of characters example here is h h is a character but how h o w is a string combination of characters to display h we use put care to display the how h o w we use the put yes because it's a combination of characters so basically you see you are getting two input values displaying two output values so we get three integers and get one string print the three integers print the string so input on the when you execute this program this will be the input so i have put 73 45 21 so b1 is 73 b2 is 45 b3 is 21 and in the string uh, i think i put uh, it's a string so i put hello c programmer that's the string i'm entering so output will be like this when you execute the program no errors and then when you run the program output will be like this all are displayed in although you entered in different lines on the three values the output will be displayed in one line because there is no slash in the line feed here if i put d slash in each value will be displayed like this that's the difference the string is displayed hello c programmer so this is basic scan of printf like the heart of the any program we'll go in detail uh, we will go about the other uh, programming statements loop controls in the future lessons bye